What is going on everybody? Welcome back RC Car Garage and today is the day that we are going to try out for the tiny gap in it build off. Um, <laughs> I literally stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning trying to finish this thing and I think I got it done. I do not have any... Uh, Make sure the car's coming. So I do not have any testing with this thing. Yeah, I literally just finished it up this morning, two o'clock in the morning. Sorry for the wind. Um, so I have no testing on it or nothing. I did test and make sure that everything was working, but running wise, I have no testing running wise. So I'm just basically going to give it hell. <laughs> just let it rip, tater chip. Um, so let me show you guys what it looks like so here we go you guys see i got the gnss on there i ended up good i have it ready she's set uh the track uh the track that i did we have i'm gonna have to explain it a little bit i'm gonna have to explain it a little bit because um gonna have to explain it a little bit oh dude I'm gonna have to explain it a little bit cuz I did the whole 90 feet by 12 feet wide so starting line is right here that's the starting line which matches up with the front tire that's on the ground you got as you guys can see a blue the blue lines whoop, there it is all the way down from the inside here to right here is exactly 12 feet wide so as you guys can see from this line here to the inside of the blue tape all the way down is 90 is uh 12 feet wide I got a piece of tape down there where that person's coming out of their car. I got a piece of tape down there, right there, where, I got a piece of tape down there where it is uh, exactly 90 feet long. So, right from the front tire, which is this side of the blue tape, all the way down to where that gentleman's getting out of his car, that's 90 feet. So we got 90 feet from here all the way down there. So we're going to try to get this thing to go as fast as it can go within the 90 feet. So that way we can uh, get the top speed on it. So let's give this thing a shot. All right, you guys, so we are on, got the GPS on, on the car. Uh, here we go. So I'm gonna set this up, drag distance. I already have it to stop at 90 feet. So I'm gonna hit start. All right, it's actually my first time using this. There we go. Now we got some Jeep. Now we got it. Drag. Distance. Done. Start. All right. So we are ready to go. GPS is on as you guys can see and let's get this thing turned on oh, start up 
start up the car. All right, she's all ready to rock and roll. And already we flipped over. All right. So again, no testing. Uh, hopefully you guys are seeing this. Let's see what this thing can do. going as good as I thought. All right. Let's give it a shot. Stop. Read. Call it zero. Drag. Start. All right. Let's see what happens. Body just wants to keep coming off. So I'm not going to be able to get a good run out of it. Until I can figure out that it only ran, as you guys can see, 4.8 miles an hour. Stop that. Stop. Read. And it's not really giving me anything here. Oh man. Alright. So here's the out. <laughs> Again, I did this without any testing. I knew it was going to be a bad idea. Alright you guys, so I did this knowing it was going to be a bad idea, um, excuse me, I, uh, should have, well, again, like I said in my last video, it, I, I just, I just entered into the competition a little bit too late. Later than what I wanted to enter. Uh, unfortunately, <sighs> unfortunately, man, I wish that I had gotten started a little bit earlier. That I would have been able to do some better testing out of it but uh, the double sided tape that I put on here is just not holding up you guys can see everything's just coming off of it and uh, with this body with this body on here I just don't have and it's already all falling apart look at that um, with this body I just don't have the space in here to be able to get all this stuff <laughs> neatly as you guys can see, get all the stuff neatly under there and get it working properly. So, uh, this is actually going to be a fail on my part. I'm not going to be able to, unfortunately, compete in the competition for the tiny build-off. Um, which kind of sucks because I really wanted to. But, unfortunately... I'm going to give it another shot, actually, because <laughs> I don't want to give up on this, but I'm going to give it another shot and see, even if I have to, I have masking tape here, even if I'm masking tape this stuff onto the car, I don't care, I'll masking tape the damn body, that's actually a good idea, I'll masking tape the body on the car, 
and see if I can get a good run out of it, try to keep everything, all the electronics inside. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, you guys, so we're back. I just ended up ghetto rigging this thing. <laughs> um, I just ended up ghetto rigging this thing just to keep the body on. I should have probably did something different with it. Um, but I, I'm going to give it another go with this the way it is. The, uh, the ESC is Kagi, too Kagi for this thing. Alright, I think we're good to go. Alright, so we're going to give this thing another shot and see what happens. So we hit start on there and let us see what happens. And there it goes. So here's that blue line that I was telling you guys about right along here. All right, stop, read, 14 miles an hour. So I went a total of 14 miles per hour. So 92 feet, well it's supposed to be 90 feet. So this blue line there, actually, this is where it starts 90 feet and go back, start, go try this again. I can't even keep the car straight. The more throttle I give it, it just wants to uh, stop. It just wants to <laughs> transmission failure. Stop. Read. So I went 11 miles an hour on that one. That run. It's also cold, so this double-sided sticky tape isn't even uh, holding right. All right, so 11 miles an hour. Hopefully, you guys saw that start. And let's try this again. I can't even give it full throttle. Once I get the full throttle, once I hit it full throttle, this thing just wants to spin out. And that happens. I mean, luckily... I kept the four-wheel drive, so I'm not losing it right from the rip. Stop it. Read. 13 miles an hour. And of course, I'm going to keep trying it until I can hit better than 13 miles an hour on this. This thing, so it's the first time that I'm using this GPS, and look how banged up it is already. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Alright, let's try this one more time. And so far the best speed that I've gotten out of it has been 14 miles an hour. So, drag. I'm going to try to drag, start, and let's see what happens. As soon as I turn it, as soon as I can't even get full throttle out of it, as soon as I go to turn it to straighten it out, it just flips right away. 
All right, so let's go up to it and see what we got here. Read. Ninety feet. So I ran twelve miles an hour. Drag race. Try this again, and I'm gonna keep trying it until I can get it to properly. See if I can at least get 16 or something. Start. Ah, uh, gotta wait for a GPS signal. I lost it completely. Four. Hit start. Hopefully y'all see that. All right, let's give it another go. I can't get so I already know one of the first issues that I'm having is the fact that the track isn't wide enough for it so every time I go to turn it keeps on stop read and again 12 miles an hour I can't even get it to uh, full throttle before it spins out and I lose it so try this again tuck this under here alright try this again go back drag start all right let's try this one more time all right 10.8 miles an hour see where we're at see where we're at I think I got a little more speed out of it stop read again 12 <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna get any better than a 12 miles an hour on this thing drag start so I'm gonna hit it again right back here I got three quarters of the throttle. I think I was able to make it all the way down. Car flipped over, went underneath the uh, BMW there. Let's get to the GPS here. Read. Nah. Acceleration 0.28 G's, max speed 12 miles an hour. I don't think I'm going to get any faster, guys, than uh, I know I should probably have this on the inside, but again, I don't have any uh, space on the inside here for the thing. Which kind of sucks. So, put that right there in the middle. And I'm actually, you know what? Instead of drag racing test, I'm going to do track start. Alright, let's see what happens here. Fine tune the steering here a little bit. Alright. Got off.
too far and I can turn to the left now. If I can get this a good run out of it, if I can get a good run out of it, eleven miles an hour. So track start. All right, we're starting again. Let's see what happens? I can't, I'm not going to get, stop. I'm not going to be able to get a good, uh, good speed out of it. Should have made the tires a little wider. Then stop, read. Nine. <laughs> Start. Actually, stop. Let me go back to the line here. Back to the line here, and then I'll start it again. Start. Alright. See what happens. As soon as I turn it to straighten it up, as soon as I turn it to straighten it up, it just automatically just flips over. So the best miles an hour I had was 14. Read. That's got 11 now. So I think I think I'm done. I think I'm done pretty much. Um, So I think I'm done with this testing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, hey, for the short amount of time that I had to actually get this thing running, I am amazed that I got it going. It's also the fact that I got it really top heavy. Um, I kind of wish this thing would show me history Records, unit. Uh, it does. So it actually does show me. So that was 11. 11. 0. 9. 11. 12, I know there's one here that I ran at 14, 13, 11, here you go, so 14 miles an hour was the fastest that I was able to get a run out of it, uh, again, like I said, I probably should have made my tires a little bit wider, but again, for the short amount of time that I had to work on this thing, to get this thing running correctly, well, to get this thing running, at least, so I can be able to compete in the competition, um, I don't think I did too bad. I mean, 14 miles an hour <laughs> for this little thing, and it wasn't even, it's not even meant to go 14 miles an hour, that's, uh, that's pretty badass for this thing. So, guys, there we have it. That's uh, pretty much all I can do, all I got out of it. The more I try to straighten it out, because it keeps wanting to get away from the 12 feet, uh, the more I try to straighten it out, the car just wants to flip over. I wish that I was able to lower the center of gravity more, which is what I really needed for this thing, was to lower the center of gravity. 
Uh, but I'm still going to be working on this thing and try to get it um, to work better. Um, probably lengthen the chassis some and probably end up getting another body for it. But uh, guys, that's where we're at right now. So 14 miles an hour is the max that we were able to do on it. And that's where we're at. So guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. You guys all have a good one, and stay tuned for the next project. Have a good one, guys.